Hi, this is Hugh Cushing of White Source, and this is the next of our series of videos on our Bitbucket integration. This one, we're going to talk about how to create Jira requests. Um, for those of you who may have used the GitHub integration or GitLab integration, um, for example, the GitHub integration, GitHub has its own issues, okay, built right into GitHub. And so White Source can, and by default, does create issues right within GitHub. So uh, you may also be curious about how to create Jira tickets since Jira and Bitbucket go together so often. Well, Jira is a little bit different. Uh, we integrate with Jira whether or not you're using our Bitbucket integration. Um, so you certainly can create Jira tickets, but you don't do it through the Bitbucket integration. You do it separately through a policy in the white source UI. Okay. Um, there are all kinds of ways that you can uh, specify policies and all kinds of policy types that you can specify. Uh, so you can, uh, you know, that's, that's not the subject of this video. This one is about Jira specifically. For example, um, if you create, uh, see this ticket here, uh, it's creating a, an issue every time we find a red shield and a red shield familiar with it is white source prioritize. But something more relevant to uh, the Bitbucket, the Bitbucket integration is, for example, a license uh, po type policy, a license group based policy. Okay. Um, we've talked about licensing violations in, in a previous video. And for example, you can fail a build or you know, fail a, a check run for a commit on any open source library that uh, uses a, a license type that your organization or your product or your project doesn't approve of. In this case, it's we're rejecting GPL licenses at an organizational level. Um, now, if you wanted to create a JIRA ticket for that, you could simply come to this policy setting for this, uh, for this particular policy and choose the tracker type to create it, okay? Uh, now, this, this may be a little bit of conf confusing is the, there are two types of JIRA issues settings that you can pick, issue tracker settings that you can pick. The one that's been around for a while that we've supported for quite some time, uh, but is only a one-way integration, is the one that just says JIRA. Okay. Um, if you set JIRA, then you simply need to say, come here and specify uh, the JIRA URL, a username, and a token. Whereas uh, there's a second one called the Jira plugin, which is technically still in beta, but it's going to be the future of, of, of a richer Jira integration. Most, most importantly, a two-way integration. Um, in other words, uh, you know, once actions are done on the Jira end, we can take note of that and take appropriate counteractions, such as uh, you didn't actually fix this kind of thing. Um, so it's your choice as to which one to use. They're both documented in white source documentation that you can get, get to by clicking here on the question mark. But once you've done that, I tend to lean toward the JIRA plugin because that's the wave of the future. Once you've done that, anytime one of these policies is violated, uh, and this one happens to be a licensing policy, but it could just as well be a, a security vulnerability severity policy or you know, even a naming policy, like don't accept any uh, libraries with evil corp in the name or something like that. Once a policy is fired that has an action of issue, you're going to start seeing JIRA tickets created for them. Okay. So here are some examples over here uh, in a JIRA project. And here's one that was created by a licensing policy violation within white source. You'll see it's got fairly rich detail about what the problem was. Well, the library called WebGoat was matched to a policy to this organization uh, and that policy prevents the usage of any of these types of licenses, uh, any, any libraries with that type of license, so any GPL 2.0, okay? Uh, so some detail, some detail is put into the, uh, the description, but there are also a whole bunch of other fields created here saying what the product was, what the project was, what the library is called, uh, all that sort of detail. And this ticket is now created 
automatically, has been created automatically merely by a white source license policy being uh, violated. Thank you for watching this presentation. And if you have further questions, please reach out to your white source representative or you can visit our website for more information.